Hey everybody, it's me. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video, guys, and um, just let you know about some of the um, the different emotions that I'm feeling, um, you know, about the surgery. You guys, I'm excited, but at the same time, it seems scary as hell. Let me fix my bra, y'all. Hold on. It do seem scary as hell, though. Uh... <laughs> Seems scary as hell. <laughs> but I'm going to get over it, y'all. Because I really do think that this is the right doctor for me. I really do think he is very concerned. Um, I think he does good work. Obviously, I think that or else I wouldn't be going to him. Um, and I feel like I'm in good hands. You know, honestly, it did take some convincing of, like, um, a few people to... You know, I, I was trying to convince them and let them know, I'm going to be safe. Don't worry about me. And, you know, stuff like that, y'all. Like my mother and other people. Um, I went and saw some friends today from my old neighborhood. You know, uh, just, you know, people just watching my YouTube and keeping up with that and knowing that I'm about to get the surgery. I've been getting phone calls and stuff and, you know, from my friends saying that they want to see me before I leave, you know, and stuff. And that's so sweet. That's really cool. But yeah, guys, um, my mom, okay. It, it was really hard to convince her, you know, she was just against it, you know, me going, um, anywhere. So basically, I had to explain to her um, what I explained in, in another video that um, I will be getting picked up from the airport, you know, um, from the doctor's um, team and going right to the recovery house. And I'll be there two days before, you know, my actual surgery. So um, I'll be safe, you know. My girlfriend, she right now, guys, it, it's not so, so official. I hope she's going to go, you know, I, I really think that she's going to work it out, but it's not set in stone as of yet. And when it is, I'll let you guys know, but, uh, it gotta be fairly soon. Y'all know that cause I leave Sunday, this Sunday coming up the 21st. So, um, yeah, I'll be going until the 30th guys. And then I'll be coming back home, but, um, I'm in good hands. And like I was saying, I had to really convince my mom, you know, um, about how this procedure is going to go. You know, and told her if she want to go see it, she can go see it. Y'all see that smoke? That's just my incense. Uh, but if she want to... <sighs> Got a little something, something left right here. That if she really wanted to go and see the videos that they were kind of graphic. You know, I would warn anybody that's, that watch those type of videos. They are graphic. You know, scared the shit out of me. You know, but at the same time... I got mixed feelings, you know, not about going, not about going, but just like those women, when they're getting those procedures, it's like it, they're dead, you know, they, they just look dead, you know, are they really dead? I mean, it looked like if it's some doctors or, you know, hold on. Or some nurses out there or some, some medical people that can explain that what state is your body in you know when you're you know going under for surgery what state is it in you know let me know because they, they look dead they look dead pretty much i think you are dead right looks like it it looks like it so let me know out there guys you know that's something i'm very curious about i've been going back and forth asking the doctor so many different questions you know it, it just doesn't hurt to to do that you know and they get right back to me his staff and you know it's, it's i just think that i'm making the right decision but um hold on y'all i just don't want people so worried about me you know i don't want y'all to worry about me like that you know i'll be all right you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to be okay. So, y'all try to think about, you know, be more positive. Send some more positive uh, comments and stuff, y'all. You know, I'm going to be just fine. So, 
yeah, yeah, you know, everything should work out. But in the meantime, everybody, just pray for me. And, um, you know, I'm going on my faith. I have a strong faith. I don't talk about God a lot, you know, or being a Christian or anything like that. But I have a really strong faith in a very personal relationship with God, which I'm sure a lot of us do. But um, I'm, I'm trusting in him, you know. I'm believing that everything's going to go well. I see myself already, you know, back home and recovering and, you know, going through all the motions, y'all. The, the um, hold on. Too late. Um, the ad board and the backboard and stuff came from Amazon today. So, uh, yeah, I was happy about that. Um, going into the, the conversation about Fajas, since, since that's where, where it's leading, um, it, it, it looked like a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to have, um, compressed, you know, you're already in a compression garment, but to have, um, the lipo foam they got sideboards to the little kit because i got like a three in one well it was it was three a three piece set and it came with the backboard uh the ad board and two sideboards and um yeah you know it, it it doesn't feel like it's real hard or anything like that but you know it I can't see how that's going to be comfortable, guys. You know, it is hot. It's summer. You know, and I have to wear that. Oh, shit. You know, that's going to be messed up, y'all. To have to wear that garment like that. You know, I mean, I don't understand, you know. Um, well, I've only heard one person say, only one person say that they did not have to wear a a faha or a um uh what was it get the massages okay and yeah that that does does it, it doesn't sound right at all but uh i've heard only one person say that and uh, most of the people who i watch on youtube that's went through this journey they talk about um wearing fahas and you know how you get tired of it they show you there's there's channels out there that that ah that have uh women demonstrating how to get into the faha along with the other things that go inside of it so you are just really really compressed it look like and then you know not to think about you know the damn heat because it's gonna be hot i'm so glad i got central air up in my place so i guess i'll be staying home a lot probably making a lot of videos guys because you know, that's that's going to be tough being out and about in a Faja and it's already 99 degrees out there or 90 degrees out there. Tomorrow is expected to be like 98 degrees here, you know, and real hot on uh, Friday too. So I'm just saying, and then I have to be in that damn garment and mine is going to be like a um, full coverage. That's what I need anyway, because I'm having my arms and I need the compression for that and my back and so yeah it's going to be like a full coverage type of deal so that i can't see how that's going to be comfortable you know when i have to go out and about that's going to be hot i'm gonna be hot in that i'm gonna be hot in that you know then you gotta wear something over that still you know still gotta wear something over that so I, I don't look forward to it, you know, that part, but I know it's part of the process and I want to go through it and I'm going to get through it like everybody else, you know, and be okay. But I want to do everything that the doctor wants me to do as far as wearing that faha and just listening to all of the, the in, um, instructions and the things that I'm supposed to do, just doing it. And um, because I want the best results. You know, I just really feel that since I am already very voluptuous, um, that my results are just going to be amazing. You know, I, I don't need to have anything added, um, you know, like any type of um, implants or anything like that. I'm not I'm not having that done, guys. I'm just having liposculpture and um, uh, a tummy tuck. And uh, that's it. So I feel 
excited and I just can't wait. I can't wait to leave. It's time to go, guys. Um, pretty much packed and ready to go. I'm waiting for the confirmation from my friend, my girlfriend that I talked about in the other video the other day. Um, the set in stone confirmation from her, which I hope we get through tonight because I'm going to call her and hopefully we can get through it. But yes, so guys, just keep your fingers crossed and keep your prayers up for me. And I know some of you guys will and I thank you guys for that. But um, I am going to be okay and just, I'm just going to be a better and a, a newer me. That's all. Still the same though. Still the same, basically. So... Yeah, guys, I'm going to stop rambling now. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it so much. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. And um, take it easy. See you soon. And you guys know that I will be vlogging all of this. They do have Wi-Fi there, I, I asked. So y'all know I'm going to be vlogging a lot. So you definitely are going on the journey with me. All right, stay tuned in. Bye, everybody.